wasn't easy for me as a 55-year-old woman to come in here and relinquish control of my life. But I told myself, well, when I was in charge, I made a pretty hot mess out of it, so maybe I need to stop and regroup, you know? I needed help regulating my mental state and my addictive state. I thought, I need to go find a sober living or something because this isn't working out. We, we all need somebody to love us. I, and a lot of times, a lot of our guests don't have anybody. We took over the old Merritt Learning Center. It used to be an elementary school, so it very much feels like a school here. It looks like a school, but um, we've turned the rooms into sleeping beds and we're a shelter. When I first met Liz, she was, she was pretty angry. She just was very, um, you could tell she'd been through a lot. I was very grateful to be in the program, but it is a struggle, it can be a struggle. There's been other residents come through here and I, I always just wanted to share with them that I know it's hard being in this, you know, but they really are trying to help you. We want your life to be better. We want to see you be the best you that you can be. We're completely free shelter. Everything is free. We supply, if they have babies or diapers or wipes, we supply all of their needs, hygiene, everything. They have to be up by eight o'clock every morning. Their rooms are locked. Um, they can come and go during that time up until 4 p.m. But then everyone has to be back here by 4 p.m. unless they work. I just wanted my own life now. I didn't know how to get it though. She showed me how if I could get stable mentally and drug-wise and financially figure things out that I could have my own place. They also have to save 70% of their income with us once they do get a job. And so it gives them a build up as well. And then when they get a house, we have a storage unit full of furniture, so we supply all of their needs. The most rewarding thing is seeing them take such pride in their houses when they leave. It gets better all the time, you know? It does, because I got into my place. I had to learn to quit having all these regrets about the past. Looking to where she's at now, um, her having her own place and being in there as long as what she has. She keeps it very nice, it's very clean, it's a beautiful place. We've kept in touch and contact and we are looking for weekend staff and I just thought she's perfect because she's been through it and she knows what the hard work gets you. When I work here, is it I feel like I'm supporting the way the future of homelessness and stuff is gonna have to be addressed. Every community has a school like this that's sitting empty. Every community, no matter how big, how small, they have issues of homelessness in their community. People forget that they could easily be in that situation too. They're no different, we're all the same. And they're human beings that deserve a place.